Now for my two cents today, I'm going to talk about what they did to the house. Um, nothing bad, just uh, when you have an old house and you need insulation, can't get to those spots. You can do it from the outside or the inside, but you drill a hole. This has been cocked over. You drill a hole like such, and you just, basically it looks like a vacuum, and it blows in insulation all in the roof here. And then over here, found a couple spots I could put it in. Because this house is 67 years old, 68 this year, and they coincidentally found what no one else could because the last people said they couldn't drill and fill but as you can see with all these holes that's where it's been drilled and you wouldn't even believe it but uh, the bags of insulation used uh, I'd say at least 50 possibly 60 bags but this whole house went from 33 CPMs down to 19, which is just amazing. Especially for a house this old. But it's basically now it's been fully restored, put smoke alarms, carbon monoxide detectors all over, but it may look uh, a little messy now, but you sand it, you paint it, looks like it's not even there. Definitely a good deal. But uh just wanted to share with you. This is what the stuff looks like actually. Just simple stuff. It all gets packed down in. So there's hollow space in there where the cold air goes in. But just wanted to share with you exactly what happens on older houses that are hard to insulate. It's uh pretty neat, but there's a definite difference. It's a lot cooler in here, it'll stay a lot warmer when the heat kicks on. It went from being on for about 10 minutes to being on for about 3 minutes now. I, if it ever gets hotter, it's almost June and Swiggo and it's hit 80 probably once. But, we'll see. But, just wanted to share with you, uh, drill and fill on a house. Alright, it's definitely worth it and will save you money in the long run. Take care.